Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. Before we begin anything, I just wanna say thank you so, so much for a thousand subscribers. I appreciate it so much, you guys. I already have something planned for the 100th episode of The Royal Family, but I would love to do something, even just like a small something for a thank you, or like as a thank you for a thousand subscribers. I am like completely at a loss in my brain, so if you guys have any ideas, please put that in the comments below, because I'd love to do something. I already did a Q&A video for 500 subscribers, so I probably Probably wouldn't do another one but if you guys have any ideas let me know if we don't end up coming up with anything that's fine just know that I love you guys so much and I'm so so thankful so just a little recap of the last episode so in the last episode of the royal family it was the triplets of Willow Creek's birthday they aged up into young adults and we had their birthday party at the Willow Creek Palace at their birthday party Queen Evangeline of Windenburg had her baby Princess Diana and then also the the biggest thing in the last episode was that Princess May died. I had no idea how she died. I didn't even like, it didn't even cross my mind to check how because I was just in such a state of shock. So I had some people in the comments saying some pretty interesting stuff. Like they thought she might've been poisoned and all that. So that'll be interesting to discover or talk about in this episode. I actually have like, I have time that has passed between the last episode and this episode. If this was a TV show, I feel like the last episode would have been the season finale and then I feel like this episode is like the start of a new season so I decided to go with the fact that time has passed just because otherwise it would have been like her funeral and everyone would have been in mourning and and everyone like kind of stops what they're doing when they're in mourning so I didn't think it would be very interesting but I am going to give you guys a summary of all the important things that has happened in between the last episode and this episode because a lot of stuff has happened if you want to get like technical if you're thinking like real life if you're trying to get like a measure of time I'd probably say about a month has passed or so so just to give you guys an idea so basically what has happened is that we had the funeral for Princess May there was just a lot a lot of crying it was like all her family and friends well, we had that at the Windenburg Palace and Amira was so so crushed she actually ended up breaking up with Makai because if you guys remember in the last episode I said that Makai was planning on breaking up with Amira because his mother did didn't like Amira, but Amira actually ended up breaking up with him because she knows she's going to have to marry Prince Johan now. It hasn't been discussed or mentioned at all just because of what has happened to Princess May, but she knows for sure. And also because of what happened with Makai's mother, she's kind of like, all right, you know what? I'm not even gonna deal. I just need to be alone right now. So she ended up breaking up with Makai. And then Amira technically ran away, not permanently, but she left a note saying that she just needs time to be alone. So she has been gone for a very very long time and then Johan he actually ended up feeling like so guilty about well first of all he's devastated about what happened to Princess May but he felt so guilty that Princess May was going to tell them that they were seeing each other while he was engaged to Amira so he ended up telling his father that he was seeing Princess May while he was engaged to Amira and King Jared his father told him to take responsibility and tell Amira and King Henry Amira's father so he was only able to tell King Henry since Amira is gone but Henry respects Johan for telling him and says that he just needs to tell Amira. And then King Jared plans to apologize to Amira because of him yelling at her because he thought she was like flirting with Bakai and all that. But now because of what his son has done, he feels like he owes an apology to Amira and he does not hate Amira anymore, but he's just waiting for her to come back. So Johan is actually on a quest. He's been on a quest to bring Princess May back to life. And we will discuss that in this episode too, because I got a lot, lot of comments about that. He hasn't told anyone about his quest yet, but he has been been trying to figure something out since the last episode. Also between the last episode and this episode, a lot of Sims have aged up. Prince James of Brindleton Bay became a young adult and so did Lady Corinne of Brindleton Bay. And Princess Diana, their baby that was just born is actually a toddler now. So you guys will get to see her because she's super cute and she does not look like what I thought she would at all. So I'm excited to see her as well. You guys will also probably notice that some Sims have, like a lot of other Sims have aged up, like look a little bit different just because 
because I wanted like the fact that time has passed. So I did some like little makeovers to some people so you guys will notice that. Basically right now, just all the Windenburg Royals, all of Princess May immediate family, and of course, Johan and all of their other relatives are just in deep, deep mourning right now, especially her immediate family. They are, they're all wearing black. They have not done like anything social for a month. So they are all just mourning. They're super sad at the moment. And so is Johan, of course, too. Actually, in the last episode, I had someone leave a comment and it was basically like a short story. It made me cry when I read it, but it was so interesting that I wanted to do a little like clip of it and kind of reenact it with The Sims. So stay tuned for that at the end of this video. I will have that. Just be aware, it might make you cry. It made me cry. So just so you guys know. But it was made or written by one of our, or one of my viewers by Gotcha Life with Miles. So thank you so much to them because it is really just cool and I feel like it's going to add a lot to the story. So definitely stay tuned for that at the end of this video. So before we begin, if you are excited or anxious or just looking forward to what's gonna happen in this episode, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications if you have not already so you never miss another video. If you want to become a member on Patreon and get some additional perks like additional bonus videos and early access to videos, go ahead and click that link in the description below for the members for my Patreon. You can go ahead and check that out. Don't forget that you can also follow me on Twitter. I post my schedule on my Twitter. I usually pin it to my profile and I try to update it accordingly. So you guys can check that out on my Twitter and that's in the description below as well. So with that, let's go ahead and play the royal family. Okay guys, so as you can see, everyone is just in deep mourning at the Windenburg Palace. So this is King Henry right now. He actually, I like he grew a beard and his hair is much longer and he kind of just looks like a mess because he's just so, yeah, you guys can see right now, he looks very different. So he's just kind of been a mess since Princess May passed away. And of course, like the whole family has. And okay, so it's actually, so as I mentioned, Prince James, Prince James of Brindleton Bay, he aged up into a young adult. So technically, it is Prince Kellen's turn to age up. So it's actually, well, we, I think his birthday should be either like today or tomorrow. So basically it's his birthday. He is not going to have a party or anything like that. His girlfriend, Princess Megan, asked him if he wanted to do anything to celebrate. And I think he got like a little bit upset that she would even ask that. So Kellen's relationship with Princess Megan is not the best right now. They definitely were a little bit closer before this, but I feel like he's just been going through such a hard time and like having so much depression. He hasn't really kind of like wanted to see her at all. And obviously she's upset too, but she knows he's upset and she doesn't, I don't think she really knows how to deal with it. Like she's still young, she's still a teenager. I think she doesn't really know how to deal with this and he doesn't know how to deal with it either. So their relationship has not been the best. So hopefully they'll be able to figure that out. But for now it is not going well. I also just realized that there's no frames on these pictures too. Oh, who is this? Is, oh, I don't know who this is. I I don't think that's Princess May. I don't think that is. Oh, whoa. Oh, I forgot there's the update. So now we can put pictures on tables and we can also choose new frames. Oh, that's so cool. This one is, oh, that's Princess Anna. That's their aunt when she was little. We have a lot of pictures of Princess Amira here. I do have some pictures of Princess May in her room too. Maybe a little sad to see right now. So I don't know if we want to look at it. This is their grandparents. This is King George and Queen Isabel. So I forgot we have like all of these pictures up here. That's interesting. I'm actually, I'm so I'm not like, like I'm kind of excited for the new stuff pack to come out, the Bushido pack, Bushido pack, Bushido pack, I think, only because of the photography career and just the fact that maybe we'll be able to take like more pictures with like bigger groups and like take pictures of kids with like adults too. That's honestly the only reason I'm excited. I'm not really excited for the like actual clothing that comes with it, but yeah, just, I just wanted to say that because I just forgot about that until now. So I actually have no idea when Amira is coming back. I don't know if she's coming back for Kellen's birthday. I feel like that's gonna be kind of hurtful for Kellen because I feel like he really needs his other sister right now. So I feel like that is pretty hurtful if she doesn't come back. But then again, she's also going through so much. I'm sure she feels like this is her fault because, okay, so I do wanna go over the comments from the last video. I didn't respond to much. So base. oh, I also remodeled the upstairs. So my Patreons or my members on Patreon, they will be able to kind of see all that. I remodeled the upstairs 
upstairs. I still haven't done a crypt yet, but I really, really need to. So I'll do that later on. But for now, that's what we have. So I have, okay, so it was like a 50-50 split of people saying like to use a cheat to bring Princess May back to life. And then other people saying like, no, don't do that. Like, don't cheat it. Like, it'll it's just like part of the story. Like, obviously we're still sad, but like, don't use the cheat for it. And I, so at first, I, like most of the people at first were commenting like, use like the wishing well to bring her back to life. Like use a cheat and all that stuff. Um, some people were saying like, have someone trade their soul for Princess May's life or something like that. So it was a lot of interesting stuff. So I, I've got to say, I am very upset that Princess Bay passed away and I was like so in shock and so upset. So when I first saw that stuff, I was like still very upset about it. But a lot of people had a good point. We like some people said like, well, we haven't tried to use a cheat to bring anyone else back to life. Like we didn't try to use a cheat to bring Queen Alice back to life when she died suddenly. So it wouldn't be fair if we did that to her. Also, we don't want to like cheat it. Like it's part of the story now and it's going to be interesting part of the story. But that's what I was saying of like Johan, like on a quest to bring her back to life to figure something out. Cause maybe like, I feel like he's like going to try the wishing well and try all that. So we'll try little things. I'm not going to use a cheat though but I will see, like, I know you can like make ambrosia, but he's gotta be on like, like he's gotta get all the ingredients for that. So I'm gonna try to have him get that without actually like using a cheat to like reach all the skills level he's supposed to and like get all the ingredients he's supposed to. I did have some people say like, I had one person say, what if Makai's mother poisoned Princess May because then she knew about the arranged marriage that 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 Johan would have to marry either May or Amira. And if May is not there, then he has to marry Amira and then she, he wouldn't, or Amira wouldn't end up with her son. So that was really interesting. I thought that was so interesting. Someone else said that maybe Princess Amira poisoned her. That's an interesting point. I don't think so though, just because I know that, she, I mean, she threw that birthday party for them, like the episode before the last one. So she threw a birthday party for them to try to make amends and basically to try to like make things okay because she felt really bad about yelling at May at her dad's wedding and all that stuff too. So I don't, th oh my God, there's like plates in this window right here. I just realized that like, I did not know that until now. So I'm gonna fix that before it bothers me. So yeah, so that's what basically what people were saying. And I thought all that was so, so interesting. Of course, I have the short story that I'm gonna like have the Sims reenact for you at the end of this too. So that'll be very, very interesting. I, I'm trying to see if I missed anything else. Some people mentioned like, like maybe go to like the vampire and have someone like trade their soul for Princess May or talk to someone there and then like, but like she has to become like a vampire queen or something, which was really, really interesting. It looks like, and then someone said have a vampire kingdom and that got that comment got a lot of light. So I'm wondering, I'm assuming you guys really want a vampire kingdom. I, I've said this so many times, I am still working on that. Oh, sorry, you guys are looking at like an empty screen. I am still working on that. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me show you Princess Diana. Oh my God, it's a mess in here. No one is like happy enough or has the energy to clean up after these toddlers right now. They definitely need their butler or relying on their butler a lot at the moment. But this is Princess Diana, you guys. Look at her, she's a redhead. I was not expecting that. I was expecting her to be blonde. So when we aged her up, I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to see me. I like actually aged her up, but I, oh, she's angry right now too. Um, but I wanted like the whole passage of time thing to kind of show. So I figured that she would age up, but she's super cute. It's her first, like, I think it's her first redhead princess. So that's so interesting, but she's adorable. I love her a lot. So yeah, anyway, okay, that's Princess Diana. So as I was saying before I interrupted myself, I am still working on that history of Windenburg video, which will kind of show you guys that, cause we used to have a vampire queen. So that's what this is gonna be about. I am working on it, but now my show's over. And when this video is posted tomorrow, technically, which for me right now, it's like a few days away, but I'm doing like a princess tea party for my company. So that's why I haven't been able to post so much this week. Anyway, so that is what is happening right now. When that's over, I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have time to do this. I'll have time to do like other types of videos for you guys too. Cause I have a lot of like cool video ideas too. Also guys, I did expand and the seasons because I thought it would be a little bit more realistic that way. So I did that, but I also didn't know that you can turn something off 
where or like you can disable the weather to affect your sims so our sims aren't going to be affected by cold or hot weather anymore which makes me so happy because that was probably the most annoying thing in the sims so i changed it and we're okay now so yeah okay so technically it says on the calendar that prince Callan's birthday is like a few days away so we'll see if princess amira comes back in a few days we'll just have to see about that i forgot i was saying before i interrupted myself about the calendar again i did make notes though because i like didn't want to miss anything so what was i supposed to say oh right okay so one thing i wanted to say was that since like Obviously, oh, oh, okay. Oh my god, I'm sorry, my brain is everywhere. What I was going to say before, it has been a month. So like now I think that everyone is, is kind of like, they're having their happy moments now. They're still gloomy, they're still sad, but they're at least having some happy moments. Kellen, of course, is really sad. Princess Amira is really depressed too, as you can see. But it looks like things are starting. I mean, they have like, they have three toddlers right now, or King Henry and Queen Evangeline do. So obviously they have to keep positivity at least a little bit for their kids just to like help them out and all that stuff too so they, it looks like they're getting a little bit happier now which is good because they're like just starting to grow and and like letting time heal the, the pain from like princess may passing away too so what i was just about to say is that since princess may or princess amira she left the note saying she was going to go obviously her father would be concerned so he sent out a search party for her she's actually in granite falls right now she just kind of like found this like small place so the search party found her and and like he has guards like low-key keeping an eye on her because obviously she's a princess and he wants her to be safe so he's like she needs time to heal like don't tell her you're watching her but just like keep an eye on her please because we want her to be safe so that's where princess amira is in case you were wondering so i i did show you guys the kind of setup where we had her funeral i know it's weird that they're right in front of the thrones but i figured that was like kind of the best place to do this i to me i feel like this is a portrait of princess may so it's custom content actually i think it does come with the funeral mod but i feel like that's a portrait of Princess May, and also just like, yeah, they're right in front of the thrones. I didn't have anywhere to put it at the moment, but for now, we're just gonna keep it here because I don't think they, like, I don't think King Henry or Queen Evangeline see any need to, like, sit on their thrones at, like, any moment in time right now, so that's just what I was kind of thinking. I also did do Queen Evangeline's portrait. I realized that it was much further than, like, everyone else's portrait, so I might just do another one, but I was, like, proud that I actually did that, so I did save Queen Alice's portrait in my, or in their inventory so we're hanging on to that at the moment until i actually like have the time to do a crib which should be pretty soon so i'll get to that pretty pretty soon okay i'm so sorry this whole like episode so far has been just me talking but i hope this is giving you guys a recap enough like without actually like action happening on the screen and sometimes just a blank screen i just wanted to like give you guys the update on the windenberg family so we're not gonna do much here it's not technically prince callan's birthday yet I want to give it a few days because I do want to see if Princess Amira is going to come back for his birthday. I, I have something planned like that's actually, oh, what is this? I dialed a random number and you answered. That means we should get to know each other. What? Lord Derek, uh, that's his sis, no, that's his aunt's exploit. That's weird. Okay. Anyway, um, so I do have something like actually somewhat happy planned because I was like, this is going to be a really depressing episode without this. So I, something happy that I have planned. So I I mentioned in the last episode that I wanted Prince Louis to propose to Lady Corinne, and he has not yet. He's been holding off because that's his cousin that just died. So he's been in mourning. His whole family's been in mourning. So he didn't want to do anything while the family's in mourning. So right now, the Windenberg royal family are really the only ones who are still like wearing all black. Like obviously the relatives are sad too, but people are kind of starting getting back into life and all that right now. So I think that Prince Louis feels like it might be the time now to propose to Lady Corinne, which has been his girlfriend for a very, very long time. I'm pretty sure it's been like his only girlfriend. Also, I know Prince Jack, I, I'm pretty sure he's dating someone. I have just, I forgot who it was. I think it's Lady Natalie. I would have to double check. We're about to go see, so we can see who he's dating. Okay, so Prince Jack is dating. Who are you dating, Prince Jack? Ooh, oh, whoops. Okay, he's dating Lady Arya, which I'm pretty sure you guys remember because she was the one that like everyone was talking about. Well, it looks like it, someone actually ended up getting into a relationship with her, which was Prince Jack. Although he, I forgot to have him tell Princess Leilana to just be friends because Princess Leilana, I don't think she really clicked or I don't know I, either like 
between her and Lord, oh shoot, who was the other guy? Lord, Lord oh, Lord Jaden of Brindleton Bay. I just feel like neither of them really click with her, but I do have someone in mind I want her to date when she turns into a young adult, which I think will be pretty soon. So yeah, so he's dating Lady Arya, so he should probably tell Princess Leilana. I have her as, Le as Lana right now, because I was just adjusting something in their family. He needs to tell her to just be friends, because he has a girlfriend at the moment. So yeah, he's dating Lady Arya, which they're super cute together, so I'm really excited. So we'll get to focus on them another time. But it's been forever. Like, I feel like he's dated, like, a lot of people or, like, flirted with a lot of people. I feel like he's been, like, flirting and dating, like, the most people out of any of the royal children. So he's actually in, like, a serious relationship now because they're definitely, I'm pretty sure, uh, wait, where'd he go? I'm pretty sure they are girlfriend. Yep, that's his girlfriend now. So he's actually, like, in a relationship now, which is really cool. So I just realized um, him and Lady Corinne, th their romantic relationship went down, which I was not ex expecting to happen, but I do want him to ask her out on a date. So I'm going to, I'm gonna have him teleport her here. Then I'll have him flirt with her a little bit and then we'll have him out. We'll have him ask her out on a date. Oh my God, I just realized this is still the old King and King portraits. I never, oh, I never did Princess Cora or King Edmund's portraits. I need to do that, man. Okay, so Lady Corinne is here. So I am having him flirt with her a little bit until he's able to ask her out on a date. I think he's just go, ooh. At first I was planning on having him propose at a restaurant because I think that like, well, okay, that I think that was only because I wanted him to like have her like birthday cake there and age up and then propose. So now she's already a young adult though. So we can't really do that. So I'll have him ask her somewhere else. Also, if you guys can see, I, Princess Belle has cut her hair. It's shorter now, still got that cute little curly thing, but I found some custom content hair and I really wanted her to wear it. So I was like, you know what? She's gonna cut her hair. It's been a month. She's had long hair for a really long time. So she looks a little bit different, more mature. She's a young adult now, which is really cool. So she's changed a bit. Okay, so I am now going, oh yeah, their romantic relationship just went up a lot. So now I am going to have him propose to her. I want to like take her on a date at least. I just got to figure out where first. Have I shown you guys the country? I Yeah, I have, I think. And we also have the Windenburg restaurant, but I think I've already been there with you guys too. I don't think we've been here in a while. I know we've been there a lot because that's where Princess Anna got married, but let's, let's have them go here. Well, I don't know. Why are we in Windenburg again? Because there's no venues really at Willow Creek, so I need to change that. Okay, so we're at the Windenburg Country Club. Is this where King Henry proposed? No, it's not. That's not where he proposed to Queen Evangeline. They did that at like the, what is it called? The the Island Bluffs? Bluffs? Island Bluffs? Something like that. But yeah, not here. But they've been here before for sure. I'm pretty sure on a date, so that's cute. He's been, like, his father's been on a date where, oh no, that's not his father. Oh my god, what am I thinking? No, this is a completely different royal family. I do not know what I was thinking. I really do need to add more, like, commercial lots in the Willow Creek town now or kingdom because yeah it was pretty much just like residential homes okay so now they are sitting together here oh guys she looks oh whoa, whoa, whoa. okay yeah she looks beautiful she looks awesome god oh wait what am I wait what oh okay because I'm not on Prince Louis so he needs to talk to her oh gosh they seem like passionate about something I don't know not know what's going on but I think they're okay so they are ordering their food now so I'm gonna have so blow a kiss okay so they're both feeling very flat flirty so i think he can propose to her pretty soon okay yeah for sure they're i mean like oh whoa, whoa, whoa. okay yeah they're having a steamy exchange so i think he can i can think he can propose to her now let's do a propose there's like paparazzi everywhere too so people are definitely gonna see this i think they yeah they like just got their food they got some wine like a really nice fancy meal so i know this isn't like the most creative way to propose but i think it's really cute also okay well all the lights turned out on us though because it's fine oh no don't let all the lights turn out i want to be able to see him propose to her. Oh, wait, we gotta wait for the lights to come back on before you propose then. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys remember to in the episode of the, I think it was the future Queen of Willow Creek is what the episode's called, it was a while ago. But his parents, or the King Queen of Queen Cora and King Edmund have already met Lady Corinne. They love her, they met her family too. So they like her a lot and they are like all for her being the future queen of the wit of Willow Creek because she's like really well brought up and all that stuff. Oh God, oh wait, he's proposing. Oh, and the waiter got in the way. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, the eyes is really cute. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, yay. Oh no. There's people walking everywhere though. No, stop. I need a picture of this. Okay, so they're engaged now, guys. So they will probably wait, well, at least a few episodes probably for their wedding be 
Kai's just, people are still in mourning from Princess May, so I'm sure his parents are gonna tell him, like, we need to wait a little bit, but, like, we're happy for you. So I feel like that's going to be the case for them, which is fine, but they're going to be the first ones of this generation to get married, guys. It's gonna be our first royal wedding in a, well, not a while, because we just had King Henry's and Queen Evangeline's, but, oh my god, they just spilled food and, like, left it there. That's fine, all right, like, right next to us. We just got engaged. Way to ruin the moment. But, okay, so they are engaged now and I'm super super excited so yeah they're kind of the first ones or they're gonna be like our first royal wedding for this generation and I'm excited for kids guys I'm so so excited oh and princess Anna's here Marcia's Anna is here to congratulate her nephew that's super super cute there's like other nobles and royals showing up to like congratulate them so it's really really cute so yeah okay so they're engaged so guys I think that's all we have time for in this episode I apologize that like the whole Whole first part of the episode was just me like talking but I hope that was enough like recap and everything for you guys too in the next episode it is going to be Prince Kellen's birthday and probably Princess Leilana's birthday too I don't know I don't think either of them is going to be having a birthday party just because of like all the kingdoms in mourning although Princess Leilana is not related to any of them but she was friends with Princess May so I feel like that's gonna be a huge deal so we'll focus on that and kind of Prince Johan's quest to bring back Princess May after this as well or in the next episode as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this i know princess amira wasn't in it at all but like I, I hope this like gave you guys enough stuff for it don't forget that i am going to have this scene basically it's go it's about like princess amira you guys are about to see it anyway so just stay tuned like another minute or so because that is going to be in just a moment i'm excited to show you guys because this was written by a viewer and it's just really cool so thank you again to that viewer i appreciate it because it it made me cry and it was so sweet but this is where you guys will get to see princess amira in mourning so don't forget to check that out that out stay tuned for just a moment but if you enjoyed this give this video a big thumbs up hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications thank you guys again so much for thousand subscribers i love you guys you guys are amazing i love sharing my videos with you and i am just so so happy so thank you guys so so much i'm so i like cheering up a little bit i just appreciate it you guys are amazing so thank you guys thank i can't say it enough thank you thank you thank you so anyway don't forget to watch this scene that's coming up next i'm excited to share this with you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!